watching TV and drinking on the job. That is what the state inspector general's office says several state workers did at a downtown Albany steam plant operated by the Office of General Services. A report from the IG's office says the behavior did not go unnoticed, but it also did go without discipline. Our Capitol correspondent, Pat Bailey, has been following the story. He joins us now live from downtown Albany with the details. Hi, Pat. Well, hey, Greg, yeah, it was just a few years ago that the state inspector general came into this steam plant that is owned and operated by the Office of General Services, and it went through the background of employees who they say were taking advantage of not only their time here, that they should have been spent working, but the taxpayers who are paying their salary. And now, two years later, several employees have paid fines, some have even retired, but none still have been fired. It's a high-powered steam plant, but it only needs babysitting. That is how one former OGS employee describes this facility run by the State Office of General Services. By phone, former employee Boyd Bonner told me the employees inside this facility are glorified babysitters who have to fill their time until something goes wrong. To fill his time, Bonner, seen here in a photo obtained by CBS6, brought in a large antenna and generator to rig a TV and watch Dancing with the Stars. According to the Inspector General's report, Bonner's supervisor walked past him and did nothing about it. About the relaxed environment, Bonner told me, quote, everyone does something to keep busy. It's the life of a shift worker. I tried to be discreet and out of the way, but someone got pinched for DWI and I was thrown under the bus. That drunk employee was plant engineer Daniel Jackson, who, according to the report, routinely drank on the job. The inspector general's office says by being drunk, Jackson, quote, exposed thousands to potential catastrophe. On one occasion, Jackson left work drunk and on the way home was arrested for DWI. The arrest report says he told the officer he had a couple of beers at work before he left. In all, eight employees were named in the IG's report, but only six faced disciplinary action because two of them retired. Not one of them lost their job. So obviously this report is from the Inspector General. Now, is this report enough to stop what's going on here at the Office of General Services, specifically at this steam plant? Well, I reached out to the IG's office, and no one on there, nobody from that office wanted to go on camera for comment. I also reached out to the Office of General Services and was told that their two-page response to the Inspector General's report was all that they were going to say. It was essentially a two-page report, and the response saying what they would do with the eight employees who were named in this report. And again, eight of them were named. Six were disciplined. Greg? But I'm wondering, does the agency have any kind of drug and alcohol testing policy in place like a lot of private sector companies do? Well, the Office of General Services says that's on a case-by-case -case basis. We'll start again. There was eight employees, six were disciplined, and the six who were disciplined paid a combined $27,000 in fines. And in the one specific case of Mr. Jackson, who was arrested for DWI, he is on probation, as were other employees. But Mr. Jackson specifically will now have to give up, uh, will now have to be subject to random sobriety tests while he is at work. If he fails them or refuses to take them, he will, of course, uh, be let go right on the spot. Now, our fact finders did contact the Office of General Services, and they were uh, told them that they do not normally do random drug or alcohol tests on the premises and they say again it is a case-by-case -case basis and like in this case when they find out when something's going on they will then act upon it and then there's probation and then in the future do those random drug or alcohol tests all right pat bailey reporting live from downtown albany tonight pat thank you very much Dory.